This is NBC6, South Florida Today. Well, the sequel, Cocaine Cowboys 2, Hustlin' with a Godmother, is an extended chapter of the previous saga. It continues to detail how Colombian drug lords took over the U.S. cocaine trade in the early 1980s. Here to tell us more about the raw movie are director Billy Corbin and real-life character Charles Cosby. Gentlemen, welcome. Well, thanks for having congratulations. us. Congratulations. And I say real-life character because you're the actor in the documentary, yet you play yourself. Yes, I do. It was... Incredible to be able to, you know, play myself and see myself on a big screen, you know, see my uh, events of my life come to actual uh, life on a big screen, you know, and nobody could have did it better than Billy Corbin and Rackin' Tour. I think I had a little mix up. Charles actually plays Bob Mayer in right. Cocaine Cowboys 2. Okay, yeah, we decided to expand on his cameo in, in Cocaine Cowboys 1, and Charles plays Bob. Will, will there be a part 3, and will you play me? Can I make a cameo <laughs> in part 3? I can't walk in those shoes. There's oh. no way I can play you. Not many people There's no <laughs> Myself <laughs> well, that's good to know. That's good to know. Glad you have made that there. No, but really, Charles. I mean, you, you your life changed like that. You, you roller coaster ride, right? All from a letter. Well, essentially, uh, yeah, it essentially started from a letter. Uh, and once I was able to meet the godmother in person, uh, face to face, uh, from that day uh, until 45 days later, I became a millionaire. Just you know, dealing with Griselda Blanco. Who is the godmother? Who is the godmother? Cocaine, cocaine, cocaine. exactly. Also known as Black Widow. The Black Widow. And why? Well, she's known as the Black Widow because she's had several husbands that were victims of homicides. Mm. Uh, mysteriously. Yeah. <laughs> mysteriously. <laughs> the godmother divorce court is a dangerous, dangerous place. Yeah. Charles almost learned that the uh, the hard way. Yeah. Yeah. And you became a millionaire, you said, in 45 days. 45 days. That's, uh, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> and how did that happen? You obviously got wrapped into her web, shall we say? Yeah, well, Griselda, she already had a system in place because even when she was in prison, she had an income of $50 million a year. So once I came aboard, you know, I just fit right into her system and she allowed me uh, free reign, basically, to run her empire. So she was able to keep that income because she had other people on the streets working for her. Yes, and although her empire was a fraction of what it once was, I mean, $50 million a year, that, that's that's a hell of an income. Mm. Billy, why, why did you choose to, uh, again, come out with part two? There's just so much of the story, right? Well, it's, it was just the response to the first movie, which was sort of a very epic tale of, of how Miami became the cocaine and murder and money capital of, of the world in the 1980s. And there was a lot of different stories and characters and threads. And the, the one that people just responded to, and we just got thousands of, of comments and emails and MySpace messages and Facebook messages. Everybody wanted to know more about the godmother. Everybody was just so fascinated by this character. And that it just, it really, it was in response to the, to the fans, to the viewers. So we, we made the movie that, that we felt that they wanted to see based on uh, the response to Cocaine Cowboys 1. She really is a mysterious character, and, and you know she really pulls people in. You wonder how is she able to function and, and do what she did, even though she was behind bars. Let's take a quick, pe uh, quick peek right now at about a clip uh, from the movie Cocaine Cowboys 2. As I was watching the news stories, I was completely blown away. I had no idea a drug dealer can move those amounts of drugs, much less a woman. And the murders that they said the godmother committed, I mean, was just astounding. A Colombian drug baroness widely considered to be the most bloodthirsty cocaine smuggler the business has ever known. For a drug dealer to accumulate one billion dollars in cash was so incredible to me, I could not believe it. She was a real life cocaine queen, which at the time I didn't know they even existed. So once I saw the news report, I mean, I was in awe of her criminal acrobatics and what she was able to do on, on the streets of the uh, United States of America. I mean, I basically idolized the lady. I thought if I could ever meet this woman, you know, maybe what, some of what she had could rub off on me. Definitely an intense flick. Uh, Billy, what are you working on now? Well, um, we are working on actually a documentary for ESPN about the history of the University of Miami uh, football program. And uh, coming up next is uh, Charles is going to do the cooking segment. Is going to teach you how to make crack, actually. No, I'm, the cooking segment. <laughs> I'm doing the cooking segment, and we're not making that. We're actually making salmon tartare or something like that. But you can come cook, too. But you have to have battle scars. You have to, like, have, you know. If you have baking soda, we're all set. It'll be okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, guys, thank you so much. It's really an intense flick, and I'm glad thank that you, you came up with us. part two. You know, we were just aching for some more. So the best thank of luck you. to both of you. Cocaine Cowboys 2, Hustling with the Godmother, is out on DVD Tuesday, July 29th. Make sure you pick up a copy.